Hi Collectibles, to start this one off, I want to start with a little showcase of something I own, these guys. Now I'm not a big Funko guy, I buy too many amiibos to be, but I love these guys, though nice bobbleheads, devils are big boy, moon ghouls, goggles allow her to avoid the typical eyes, they have great little details like how devil spots are textured that really help them feel like they came out of the show, so they are a really nice thing to have. Why is this so real? Now really think about it, because a meal 10 years ago, tons of shows got merchandise. You could easily find Phineas and Fulbit Adventure Time stuff everywhere just a few years into the ones, and shows like TMNT and Ben 10 were consistently revamped just for their merchandising capabilities. Some cartoons even lived and died based on the merchandise. Symbiotic Titan failed to get a toy license, and it got written off! Nowadays though, even the shows that networks acknowledge are successful struggle to get anything besides maybe, possibly, a book. Now don't get me wrong, I love Marcy's journal and the fact I can still find journal suite on store shelves years after the fact is great, but why is this all the merchandise made for these IPs? I mean, they made Funko Pops for nearly everyone, but series like Gravity Falls and Star Wars have struggled to get even just a few. Have you seen the amount of concepts made for Owl House and Amphibia ones all the time? And some of these are ultra specific. All we need is normal versions of all leads, and I'd buy them! But back to the question, why do I think this is happening? Well, a few things probably contribute to this. For Cartoon Network, I think that it will probably scare out of the business after they put out two series just for merchandise and capabilities back to back, Powerpuff Girls 2016 and Ben 10 2017. Yes, back to back, because I'm assuming those weren't huge sellers! But as for the toy market as a whole, it's really outdated. A few months ago, Ian Jones 40 mentioned how toy executives didn't want Steven Universe action figures as they couldn't fit entirely into the boys section or the girls section. And Avatar The Last Day of Bender fans know they already refused to make a Katara figure for years into the series 1 because that's a goal, and obviously, no boy would want the entire main cast of the show, cause that would be crazy! So, with a lot of animated series becoming more and more inclusive and appealing to wider and wider audiences, I think a lot of toy executives are against merchandising opportunities because of their stupid demographics and marketing and whatever taxes all. So now, fans have to rely on each other for merchandise. For example, there's this whole website called The Mystery Shack which sells merchandise for cartoon nerds. I bought a flapjack from there, I realized when opening it that he can stand on your shoulder, and I absolutely lost it. But, I still have hope that one day, with Sword and Series getting more and more popular, we will eventually get actual merchandise for some of our favorite shows. Or just Funko Pops. Hey, it's a better fate than what Spongebob's in right now, like why is everything meme-centered? Ah!